I got nothing to say, you haven't said ten times before. Jocelyn, I'm sorry, no, this is serious. Cody, Cody come, come here. here. Hey guys, I'm still Yoli on the blocks. Cody, so they can get it. I'm Yoli on the blocks. Don't be fooled by the cakes that I got. And this week, I'm making candle cakes. Someone lost a frock. Maybe they're on the streetcar. Okay, I think we can go. How are they gonna go on? <laughs> So Jocelyn and I are going to a candle making workshop right now. We're gonna make some candles. Okay, okay. let's get it. I'm off the block now. <laughs> so wine is included in this candle class. So even if we did nothing else right now, we'd be perfectly fine. Yeah, I inf I think our candles are gonna come out better. <laughs> Two. Candle making. To candle making. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> I love this. Oh my goodness. Bourbon, vanilla, and tonka. What is tonka? Tonka is a bean that grows in Grenada. I feel oh. like I might have to. And then I like things that make me want to eat them. So if it smells like cinnamon, or then I also like yes. that too. Delicious. Top note is baked crust. Stop it. <laughs> that, you have to do that one. Just Wow. It does smell like Ikea. Why? Why? <laughs> Quebec maple and pumpkin pie. Huh? Is this a, this says grated binger. Do you mean ginger? <laughs> okay. <laughs> binger is a rare form of ginger. <laughs> it's Brazilian ginger. Only it's from binger. countries that start with a, a B. B. Currant and cherry like plum. That. Lemon so time yeah. wine break. Wine, wine break. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to choosing scents. I've never used a glue gun with this accurate of a like nozzle. nozzle. I know, it's really accurate. I'm enjoying this. Beautiful. This looks wonderful. Oh, no, I think I have a bubble. No! I know. No, it's crooked. <laughs> Is it? No. I don't think so, actually. Sure, yeah, no worries. I'll just wait here. <laughs> oh, we get to wait? <gasps> awesome. How to candle it. There's great punning in candles. <laughs> Can you candle this? <laughs> we'll just keep an eye on that. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Stir, stir, stir. Okay. Absolutely, you get 25% <laughs> off everything in the store. Hi, Fabio. Can't shop. candle it. I can't candle it. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, let's candle Back cake. Let's make candles. Bake to the oh, let's make cakes. Bake to the kitchen. <laughs> Can you candle it? <laughs> now that I really understand how candles are made, I can't apply any of that knowledge <laughs> to help me make candle cakes. But we learned something new. We did, it was fun. To make my candle cakes, I am baking one and a half pounds of chocolate cake, three pounds of vanilla cake with my spice mix folded in, and then four and a half pounds of pumpkin spice cake. And the first thing I want to do is level them. And I'll cut the caramelization off of the bottom of the vanilla cake. The other ones are fine, they're dark. Yeah, the other ones are good. Chocolate's always good. I never have to cut off caramelization. And the pumpkin spice has such a rich dark color too, you don't really notice the caramelization. Now that all three flavors of my cakes are level, I'm gonna take the time to layer the pumpkin spice and the vanilla spice cakes. The chocolate cake is really small. It's just a four inch round circle. So I'm not gonna layer them. It's just, I need them to be sturdy when I build it up into a candle. It's time to simple syrup. Whoa, wow. It's time to simple syrup my fridge. Susan's trying to steal the spotlight. I'm gonna silence her. Whoa, that was hard. <laughs> By the way, I love this random tennis ball on top. <laughs> oh, it's to protect. Well, right now this is upside down, but normally when this rod sticks out, mm -hmm. you could like walk exactly. into it. Yeah. It's a protective tennis ball. Yeah, so it's not random. It has a very important job. Perfect. Look how educated you are now. <laughs> I'm so 
too much. <laughs> now that all my layers are prepared, it's time for Sir Squeeze to help me simple syrup them. Just shower them with simple syrup love. While the simple syrup is soaking in, I'm going to take this time to make some flavored buttercream. Each candle is gonna have a different flavored buttercream. What? Yes! Yum. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> For my vanilla spice cake, I want to make like a like a cin like an apple pie, cinnamon apple pie buttercream. An apple pie, cinnamon apple pie. That's how apple pie it is. I first need to make sort of a really quick applesauce to add to the buttercream. I have some apple pie filling and I want to just isolate the slices out of that filling. Then I'm going to turn that on until it makes applesauce, basically, nice and pureed. And now I'm going to add that puree to some Italian meringue buttercream along with cinnamon. And I also added freshly grated nutmeg because I'm half Grenadian and a must. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna do the full model. I'm gonna do the, the whole tip up and then shape. Okay. This is like hair commercial model. Okay. Okay? Really? Okay, one, two, go. Cinnamon. Oh, I'm eating my hair. Hold on. <laughs> Action. Cinnamon. You know when you ring out the old school mops? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The next buttercream I'm gonna make is a cranberry clove buttercream. Mm. And this is gonna go in the chocolate cake. So to make this, I'm using some whole cranberry sauce, the same way I used the apple pie filling. And then I'm gonna whisk that pureed cranberry sauce along with ground cloves into Italian meringue buttercream. The next buttercream flavor I'm making is ginger. I, I think I made this buttercream for my sushi cakes. So what I'm going to do is whisk this ginger jam into some more Italian meringue buttercream and that is going to go into my pumpkin spice cake to make it extra spicy. If you're a fan of pumpkin spice, I promise you pumpkin spice cake is the way to go. So check out our pumpkin spice playlist. It's gonna be just shots of me drinking pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> and if you haven't seen my sushi cakes, check them out right here. Oh, and these sushi cakes were also featured on Nailed It on Netflix. You are on Netflix, girl. I know, I'm not gonna tell you if they nailed it or not. <laughs> gonna have to watch. It's time to fill and stack these candle cakes. I basically just need to alternate cake layers with the corresponding flavored butter. And we wanna make sure these are candles, so we wanna make sure they're nice straight columns as we're building it. But before you place your final cake layer on, we need to mark the center of that cake layer, and we're gonna use a circle cutter to cut out. Well, in this case, it's a not so secret chamber. Because it's right on the top. It's not a chamber. Is it a chamber if you can't close it? No. So what do we call this? Like a perfectly round valley? It's what an is this? Indent. It's oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> Indented cakes. It's a pool? I don't know. <laughs> it's like a pool. It's a pool for wax. A wax pool. That sounds less fun. <laughs> It's going to hold a tea light later on. So what you wanna do is make sure you have your tea lights, choose the correct circle cutter so that those tea lights fit nice and snug, and then cut a hole out of the top layer of cake before placing it onto your cake. We get a lot of questions on why we included my circle cutters, well not my circle cutters, but ones just like it, in the basic baker's bundle, and it's because I use circle cutters all the time. Not only do I use them in decorating cakes, but I do use them in the building of cakes very often, and I find them very helpful. They come in a set of many sizes, and I use them all the time. And you can use them if you make cookies too. Ooh, it's nice. not just for cakes. I like it. Not just for cakes in secret chambers or wax pools. <laughs> all of my cakes are stacked. They have a little 
hole in the top, ready for a tea light later on. And while they're chilling, it is time to color buttercream. For my pumpkin spice candle, of course I wanna make a very pumpkin-y orange. I have some Italian meringue buttercream and I'm going to color it with a mixture of copper, a little bit of brown, and a little bit of orange until I'm happy. Whenever I'm going for a darker color, whether it be in buttercream or fondant, I always sort of take a little bit out and color that. I just find it's easier to see the color come to life and less streaking if you just mix that concentrated color and then stir it all back in. Once I'm happy with my pumpkin spice color, I'm gonna move on to my apple spice. Mm, I think you mean your apple spice. Cinnamon. Pie. Apple pie, cinnamon apple pie. Yeah, my apple pie, cinnamon apple pie candle, number one <laughs> seller. Number People are going to be looking for it at howtokicking.com and they're going to be disappointed. And Jocelyn, guess what food coloring color I used? In buttercream? In buttercream. Ivory? Ivory. When have you ever used ivory in buttercream? This is too far, Yolanda. Ivory. I wanted my apple cinnamon apple pie candle to be Beyond Ivory. Oh my god. That's the newest, hottest Pantone color. <laughs> Beyond Ivory. For my chocolate cranberry clove candle, I'm going to color some Italian meringue buttercream and I'm using, that's right, I always forget the name of this one. <laughs> I used Claret. Oh wow. A little bit of, think like the color of wine, but creamier. My cakes are nice and chilled and it's time to crumb coat and chill them. I'm crumb coating my pumpkin spice cake with the orange buttercream, my apple cinnamon apple pie cake with the Beyond Ivory buttercream, TM. And <laughs> it will happen. And my chocolate cranberry clove cake is being crumb coated in the beautiful burgundy buttercream and once they've all been crumb coated I will chill them. That's why I call it crumb coat and chill. <laughs> I always wondered. <laughs> so while my cakes are chilling I'm gonna take this opportunity to roll out some fondant. You didn't think I'd forget about fondant. Uh, I want these candles to look sort of embossed on the outside. What I want to do is I have some burgundy fondant and I'm going to roll it out nice and thin. And then I'm rolling big strips of it and I'm laying it onto these embossers that I have. I don't even remember where I got them. I bought them years ago to make my friend's wedding cake. And I feel like silicone molds have since taken over the cake landscape. And all I have to do is lay my thin strip of burgundy fondant onto the mold and then I'm gently gonna press it into the mold. Now when fondant's this thin and it's humid inside, it can tend to stick to your fingers. So I'm just gonna dab on a little bit of cornstarch just to make sure I don't rip it or tear it. I'm gonna place the embossed fondant in the fridge to chill. And while that's chilling and firming up a bit, I'm going to ice my candle cakes. So I'm gonna ice my candle cakes with the same buttercream that I crumb coated with and I'm using a bench scraper because I want these candles to be beautiful columns just like a candle. If you want extra content from me, discount codes for howtocakeit.com and extra tips about cake decorating, then you should sign up to be on our email list. It's completely free and there's so many goodies for you. There's a link below. I'm gonna paint each pattern a different color. Shades of gold. <laughs> so, I'm painting gold, rose gold, and old gold. What's old gold? <laughs> it looks more ancient, like gold that was discovered. It's more like brass. Like it came out of a tomb. No, brass is an entirely different metal. Do not call gold brass. Do rappers buy brass chains? <laughs> no, they buy gold chain. I definitely want it to dilute and not be grainy. However, I don't want it to be so thin that it just runs or it saturates the fondant and it gets soggy. So it's time to place the fondant around each candle. So I'm going to begin with the 
my Beyond Ivory Apple Cinnamon Apple Pie Candle. And I'm wrapping the pattern. There's one pattern I had that was had a straight edge. So I've decided to wrap it around the candle right at the base. I wanna trim my embossed strips and I also wanna make sure that I can line up a pattern with the other strip before I even wrap it around the candle. Kind of like wallpaper, right? You wanna mm -hmm. cut it and make sure yeah. it'll line up before you even wrap it around the cake. Now in a perfect world, it would line up perfectly, but the world is not perfect. <laughs> Zoom in and like go black and white, because this is knowledge that I'm sharing. The world is not perfect. Mm -hmm always find the front of your cake and know what you want to be front and then this way you can line it up so that your seams are not you know directly in the front if there's one seam put it right at the back if there's two sort of the back around the sides but always make sure the front of your cake is the nicest to look at um, and then you gotta turn these cakes into candles <laughs> right now they're just pillars. beautifully decorated pillars yeah. but something's missing <laughs> So I'm gonna carefully insert my tea lights and I purposely chose tea lights that have like the plastic surround as opposed to the foil. Yeah. I didn't wanna see that. Yeah. And they fit perfectly. Like the circle cutter I used was so perfect that it just fit in so snug. It's not gonna move around, it's not gonna tip. <laughs> it's a candle. They're candles. Done. Next time it's your friend's birthday, don't put candles on a cake. Make a candle cake. It is Canadian Thanksgiving coming up this weekend. Yes, we have Thanksgiving too. And it's in October. And it's in October. And we like candles and we eat poultry. <laughs> well, we eat turkey specifically. Turkey, exactly. My classic cake tees and hoodies are back for the fall. Make sure to grab one. You can shop for this tee, okay, but first cake, and some fun other tees. Just click the link below. If I got your mouth watering from talking about these amazing fall recipes, the good news is you can check out our latest compilation on step-by-step -step cozy fall cakes. Yum. Take it to the limit one more time. I think the notes were a little off. A but lot I, off. I feel like that was a good start. <laughs> Do I look constipated or like I'm saying? <laughs> oh, this is so Instagrammy. Right. <laughs> <laughs>